What's up, y'all? This is Method Man, also known as Melvin Cheese Wagstaff from the HBO original series, The Wire. And I'm excited. Why am I excited? I'm excited to talk about the 20th anniversary of The Wire. That's why I'm excited. So, Cheese, who's your dog? You my dog. How did I come to play Cheese? Well, I auditioned, first and foremost. I had a bit of a chip on my shoulder because the first season had already aired and I was supposed to come and audition for a part for the first season, but I wound up doing um, a movie called Brown Sugar. And you're like, Meth, you're not in Brown Sugar. Exactly, I've made it to the cutting room floor, that's why. And it was sort of like I missed an opportunity. And uh, who was there with me that day? Hassan was there with me that day. And he said, F this movie, I'm going to that audition. And guess what he got? Weebay. Well, Shorty was a cop. And she ain't dead. My favorite scene is shooting the wire, anything with Robert Chu. Rest in peace, shout out Robert Chu. He was also the coach for the kids that were on the show. Phenomenal actor, not just phenomenal actor, but brilliant man. Every scene that I had with him, it was delightful because it was just like, you know, being around family. You're taking a risk with our supply, ain't you? I mean, setting up a meet with anybody other than us. Got to. The boy crave reassurance. Ooh, who could, who would I have played if I could have played any character other than Cheese? Uh, it's a toss up between Dookie, right? Love that character. And uh, the little kid that was the chronic car thief. He just couldn't stop stealing cars. I forgot his name. That kid with the broke fingers, they broke his fingers. Him too. God. fondest memory of filming The Wire, probably the people, the real life people that lived around the, 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 the area. I've had a lot of people invite me to, you know, eat dinner in their cribs, and there was one lady that stood out. She used to always bring me my, uh, my great Welch's soda. It was just like family out there. They accepted us, and we did everything we can to make the neighborhood look good. Damn, y'all some simple fire motherfuckers, ain't you? My favorite storyline of The Wire was probably the educational part, the, the kids. You felt bad for them. I mean, those, those episodes touched me the most because I grew up in those environments and those kids did an excellent job. We do the same thing as y'all. Except when we do it, it's like, oh my God, these kids is animals. Like, it's the end of the world coming. Oh man, how has being on The Wire impacted my career? I, I'll tell you what the blessing was. The blessing was meeting some great people and, and having friendships that still lasted to this day. As far as my career went, I, I was still one foot in hip hop and one foot in the acting, but I respected that set enough to know that I had to show up on time and not just show up on time, show up without an ego and ready to work. And that's what I did. What, 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 oh, oh, oh. You think they're supposed to get played some other way? Huh? Is that what you think, man? <laughs> what do I think is the legacy of The Wire? As far as the black community, we don't get to see a lot of ourselves on TV. And you know, we're talking about a weekly show that's, that's showing us up there regardless to what light it's in. And it made people either you wanted to portray some of the characters in the show or maybe it made you want to be a producer or it made you want to be an AD or a director or wanted to tell your own stories your own way. At least that's what it did for me. It made me say, there's an audience out there for our stories. Maybe I can tell my story my way.